ここだなえっとここだなここだな<笑>油断するなよし<笑>ノルド廃鉱山オートの北西に位置するマグラ結晶の鉱山であるオートから近い利便さを買われ盛んに発掘が行われていたが近年政教府からの急の達しで閉山が言い渡された一行は森を抜け今や人気を失った鉱山への林道へ踏み入っていく I think we're in the clear. Hold on. Got it. Put the pressure! 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is all we got. Get ready. Stay <laughs> <laughs> focused. <laughs> Somebody okay. I feel stronger. That's all over. We can relax for now. What is it? Hmm. But. Pardon? That'll do it. We must do this. I've never fought soldiers before, but I won't waver. Wind! <laughs> what is that? Never seen anything like it! That's not an igniter! 
Message, boy. But the only one who could know we survived. Oh. Stop right there! I can't believe this. I knew. 
knew I'd find you here. You were the only one who never went up to the fort itself, after all. It couldn't have been anyone else. Who would have thought three sorry stragglers would make it past a whole unit of assassins? Bastard! You never intended for anyone to survive. You knew the human would be there. Naturally. You heard the reports. I only put more bait on the hook. I wasn't expecting that damn thing to be rampaging already. You sent those soldiers to their deaths. Why? Because the Kingdom's Guard is powerless before the humans, and only a pile of bodies will prove that to the public. So someone wants the King's Guard disgraced. And when the people need him most, a savior rises as their shield. Is that your game? Savior? Speak plain, boy. You think he's one of Luis's men? A pitiful flock needs its shepherd. If a little blood is what it takes to show them who their real savior is, then that's a price easily paid. That's why those sons and daughters die. For your savior. <laughs> they aren't the first. The soldiers cry for reinforcements. The villagers plead to be spared. But I know better than to confront a human. A... a village? You refused. Wait, then you were the one who... Seven years ago, the first flames day of June, a village in the northern hills was razed to the ground. A village called Harlia. Hmm? Oh yes, that might have been a name. Then you made a fatal mistake, Klinger. You left one survivor! Stay back! Help me! Ugh. You played right into our hands, you know. <clears throat> <clears throat> This was the only road without checkpoints. A simple deduction. You're a disgrace to your title. I may not make it out alive, but as for you, you're hopeless! O oh, thou who art seared with bitterness, O oh, thou anguish traveler, it is time for thou to choose thy path. O oh, Lord Star, whose light reveals the King's own path, awaken! What? <laughs> what the? Oh, no! I can't fail Lord Luis! Without him I've got nothing left! <laughs> you struggle in vain! I won't let you rob me of my glory! This is the way of the real world, little Lordling! This real. Leaders abandon their people and the innocent die by their scorn. If that's the real world, then it can die alongside you! My name is Leon Stroll the Halliators. My home and my family were taken from me. I am the last of my house, I am the last of my noble bloodline, and in the name of my people, I will strike you down where you stand! Come, I will show you a world with honor! Yours now? Well, better show him how to use it! I don't know what you think you're doing, but I'll not cave to an empty threat like that! This ignite is all I need to turn you to ash! You lot, get to it! Cover me! So he scampers off to protect himself, and his subordinates get to be his living shields. The man's showing his true colors. I'll fix the filthy coward with the end he deserves! 
The igniter's powerful, but it takes care and calculation to wield. If you sense danger, steal your defences and endure it. It's okay. I won't hold back! Wind! Take this! Useless! All you like. I shall vanquish evil. I'll cut you down. Don't please. Not bad. I'll strive for greater heights. I shall rise to the occasion. Him. Never expected a commissioned officer would end up a wild-eyed sailor. How... how did I do all that? And without an igniter? Just like him. Who are you two, really? I... I'm Leon Strong. Just a fallen noble from the countryside. Back there, Klinger mentioned a village that was raised by a human. They sent for help, but... He abandoned them. Halia was its name. I'm the son of its lord. And now I know what really happened. We sent our fastest riders, but... We were doomed from the start. If Luis was behind it, then that's all I need to know. He's the one who will answer for it. I have my own reason to fight now. I don't want to be an ally of convenience alone, so once more, please, let me join your cause. What do you say, Grius? I see. Keeping an eye on you was too much trouble in the first place. So you've no objections? What say you, friend? You're already one of us. Thank you. I'll remember this. Now, onward. The proud noble, Stroll. Within him dwells the virtue of the warrior. Nurture thy bond with him, and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. Together we stand. Did you feel that just now? What's going on? Does it have something to do with that odd magic? Now that I think about it, once you awakened, isn't it weird that Stroll followed not long after? What does this mean? Huh? Wait, what? indeed. Somehow you find yourself here once more. And a fairy. I thought their kind long extinct. Do they yet take refuge in the Elden Sanctum? Hey! You gonna talk to me or just at me? We meet again, my friend. Though admittedly sooner than I'd expected. Remarkably, another has awakened. What miracle is this? Yes, that same power now stirs in your companion. Another of the mighty archetypes. Do you recall our discussion earlier about how archetypes are an original form of magic? Um, well, more or less. Consider this. As an elder, you are an outcast of society, yes? Your very identity is a kind of destiny you may defy but not escape. All mortals suffer under the weight of our burdens. But in facing and embracing that anxiety, 
You make it your innermost power. You find freedom. And so, the lives of those who overcome their hardships and embody the virtues within are passed down as heroic tales. Your companion, too, had his eyes open to his true path and claimed its virtue. That awakening is your doing, though. He awakened to the archetype that protects you. Hey, hold on a second! Who even are you? How much do you know? I'm warning you, if you mess with him, you're gonna have to go through me! Ah, you two share quite a deep connection, don't you? Well, we didn't always, but now we're partners to the end. We're linked down to the depths of our hearts. Right? Right. We trust each other. I've got his back and he's got mine. And that's all there is to it. The mystical fairy, Gallica. Within her dwells the virtue of the mage. Nurture thy bond with her, and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. I won't lead you astray. That's the whole reason I'm here. Hey, wasn't that... Fascinating. Do you understand what just happened? By connecting with others who have found their resolve, you awaken to new strength. And further, you and all your allies may fight with the strength of any archetype in your circle. As an example, your other companion, the fellow with the eye patch, he seems to have some training and knowledge regarding the wielding of an archetype. By his own account, nothing came of it. Yet if you so desire it, you can awaken the true power within him. What? You mean Rius could use this power too? The nature of the Seeker. No. Perhaps it is simply your own nature. You truly are remarkable. If you seek answers, then go and claim them. This right here. Now then. I still have much to learn. Fascinating. I see. Fascinating. This right here. All right? I'm counting on you. Of course. I 
found new power. I see. Fascinating. This, all right? I'm counting on you. Of course. New skills, new possibilities. My young friend, you are truly to reach the lineage of power's greatest potential. After all, a hero without allies is nothing more than a only a champion of the people may <sighs> When next you come to see me, open my book, and let your imagination conjure this place anew as long as you walk your path. You two all right there? Looked as if you were in some kind of trance. Trance? Wait. Have we been here this whole time? It was strange. As if I felt something in the air. My senses sharpened near tenfold. It reminded me of my old days studying magic. What? So that wasn't a dream? Grius, that's probably his power! You studied back at the Sanctum, right? I know you couldn't get the hang of it then, but... I think we might have just awakened it! Awakened it? But that's... Who are you people? The truth, if you would. Look, in all honesty, we barely know any more than you do. But the short version is... Well... I think you can use that power now. Uh, I think you might be right. The way it feels is... Well, this is magic, eh? I'd all but given up on it, but... Fate had other plans, it seems. Enough. We must move on. There is far to go still. And lad, I follow your lead now, at least when it comes to how we use these skills in battle. We haven't the luxury of time to train with magic. Same here. You've clearly got a sense for this, and I'd rather make myself useful than muddle your strategies. We've five days until the funeral. That's precious little time, and we'd best not waste it. Look! 
What's up? Great find. 
Hey. Hmm. of you to come. I see. Fascinating. This right here, all right? I'm counting on you. Of course. Yeah. Right. I could get used to this. Oh. You'll come. Let's go! Great find! Keep it!
remember. They say in the lands beyond mortal reach, great spires of crystal stand. That's all just superstition though, right? Still... That's no ordinary monster. The way it's moving... It's... Here it comes! Dear me. The blade! I'll show you the finest power! No, Seeker! The power of wind! Blade any means necessary. What? Hey, what was that, Prius? I won't hold back! Freeze! You hit their weakness! No, Seeker! Let me rethink it. I call upon royal power within! Now the power of heroes. It's okay. By this power. No. Me! Nice! I can't afford to- Are you prepared? I'll blow you away! Any means necessary. Still standing. Let's see. Me! Freeze! You hit their weakness! I shall fight. I call upon royal power within! Oh, healing light! Thanks. Blade, I will hold back. <sighs> Held back too much. He's badly wounded! Can anyone heal him? Everyone! Forgive Someone me! get him back on his feet! Come forth, royal soul! Ice! Seem the right move. What is this crystal? By my guess, the monsters were drawn to its aura. We shouldn't leave something so sinister just lying around. and answers, but there's no time to ponder them. We better move. You got me serious. Thank <laughs> you. 
can't say I was expecting you, Doc, to fight, just so we're clear. Slaying the thing's beyond you. Underestimating a dragon is the fastest way to get yourself killed. Fortunately, this one's on the smaller side as dragons go. We might have a chance of driving it off. Listen, keep an eye on its movements. Be ready for anything. If you sense it bracing to strike, stand your ground and shield yourself. Do not waste your lives in a place like this. Now, let's go, lads! We're on a mission, and we won't turn back for anything. Not even a dragon! I would hold back. The blade! I can't afford to hold back. Are you prepared? I'll blow you away! It's okay. Come forth, royal soul! Hit their weakness! No, any means necessary. Seeker! Oh, healing light! Thanks. I will fight. I won't hold back! Ice! You hit their weakness! Sword plague warrior! With one strike! Critical hit! No. Let's go! Freeze! Look! 
What the? No, stop. In one piece, no less. Speak for yourself. I think that shaved a couple years off my life. Damn storm. Can't afford too many delays, but we'll not be getting far in this torrent. We can make camp tonight and slip onto a carriage to the capital tomorrow, once we're out of the wastes. Public carriage seems a bit risky, doesn't it? Not with all the outsiders flocking in for the funeral. We'll be three faces among hundreds. Lovely. Another carriage ride. Hopefully this one's smoother than the last couple. Let's just get our camp set up. Somewhere dry, preferably. Ah, this is so cozy. I feel alive again. It's certainly better than freezing. Reminds me of when I was a child. Countryside nobility like us had no fortune to speak of. My parents bowed and smiled for their money, and honestly, I despised them for it. Back then, I thought being a noble was about, I don't know, a life of prestige, being respected. But one spring seven years ago, our town was attacked by this horrific creature. A human, though I had no idea at the time. I was evacuated alongside the servants while the rest of the town burned. I waited for my parents to join us in the shelter, but they would never come. Mm. The parents I'd so despised had stayed behind to protect the villagers who couldn't flee. Your parents were heroes. It changed everything. It taught me who my parents really were, what it really meant to be a noble. But our town's just rubble now, a footnote in history. The human that destroyed us is all we'll ever be known for. <sighs> I remember my father petitioning the capital for aid, but no reply came. Even knowing how much of a threat the humans were, now I think, what if the army, well, Luis, what if he's the one who abandoned us? If we were just a pawn in his game, then then I will make him pay. <sighs> hey, Grius. We all trust each other now, don't we? I think we can tell him. Aye. Maybe you're right. I'll admit the lad's sword put me in mind of the past. Something special about that sword? Well, we used it to identify the messenger from our faction. But it originally belonged to his highness. A kingly gift from his father. To better suit his highness and his keen aptitude for magic, that blade was specially forged, with raw magla folded into the metal. Of course, when Swordplay bored him, he'd amuse himself by levitating it or standing atop it to glide about. <laughs> A royal rascal, that one. Those days were all too short. Then, twelve years ago, it all came crashing down. I've heard. The prince was attacked, right? There was a plot on his life. One I wish I'd rooted out sooner. Just like tonight, it was pouring rain. Your Highness, this way! Who led these blackguards into the palace? Huh? My lord, are you hurt? Back! A royal knight. A wench and nothing more. You lazy! You know nothing of 
true knighthood. I pledged my life to the prince, and I'll not lose it to you! His Highness survived the attack, but the curse hanging over him was powerful and complex. Of all the mage healers in the capital, not one could wake him, and he grew weaker with each passing day. We might lift the curse if we knew the specifics of its formula, but Luis would never give that up. Which leaves but one way to dispel the curse. Its caster must die. And you're sure Luis is the man you seek? I saw him in the fray. He was younger then. Younger even than you are now, and shorter besides. I could never mistake him. And now, after spilling the royal blood of father and son both, the people call him not traitor, but saviour for his highness. For the king, and for the very future of this country, he must be dealt with. To kill Luis is to see justice served. I see. So as he did with the prince, he would make of my city a stepping stone to further heights. A tool to spread the infamy of the humans. You haven't told that story to many, have you? Thank you for trusting me with it. A rogue never forgets a debt. Even if it takes three generations, we'd see it repaid. But neither do we forget a grudge. And Luis will know that soon enough. So, that's what all this is about. Say, friend, this mission means a lot to you too, doesn't it? Yes, of course it does. You've been carrying a greater weight than I realized. In any case, I owe you my life and we've both got something we'd fight to protect. Let's save this country. Together. Uh, ideally, once we're out of this cold, of course. I think it's about time we eat. We're almost to the capital, after all. I'd say that's worth celebrating. I'm beat. 